What is up, FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. Today, we are doing a review, a detailed review of Ryan Gravenberg. And for the purpose of this episode, we will call him Ryan. And Gravenberg is a little bit long. Let's start this episode. Boys, if you're new around this corner, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. And of course, do let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, he is six foot three, an absolute tower in the midfield, high and average by type plus. Boys, I have never seen a card that is high and average by type plus that moves so well across the pitch. He's an absolute gem uh, in your midfield, and I'll show you exactly just why. He's medium, medium work rates. That's fantastic. Technical dribbler, and you do feel that when you're playing with him uh, in your midfield. Outside the foot shot, flare shot, that is fantastic. Looking at his stats, the pace is solid. The shooting is very solid for a player that is that tall, uh, and that offers defensive work rates as well. And the passing is fantastic. The dribbling on this card is more than perfect. Honestly, uh, it, it might just be his 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 what he is for. Uh, the secret sauce he sports has put in a card like this but you will see how his positioning how his dribbling how his movement across the pitch is so clean and so effective the defending is also sensational and the physicality is great now looking at the chemistry style that i applied in this uh in, in in this review i went with the guardian and the reason for that is because i want him to be very dangerous when it's time to attack in the attacking phase and very dangerous when it's time to defend and i thought this right here would do the, the job of course he's 162 not 62, 126,000 coins. And boys, that is cheap, cheap, cheap in terms of what he can offer. The first uh, thing I'm going to be discussing here is the team we're going to be playing him in. And that is a team you see on the screen. Really a solid team, a solid side that surrounds him. You're going to see how he performs in this game. Moving on, the first team we are going to be facing throughout this game is this team. A very solid team, right? You have the Bellingham, the Jude Bellingham, the Goretzka, the Sons, the R9s. Uh, a very very, very solid team pretty much a scary scary team um the first clip i have for you guys is regarding gravenberg's heading ability in the box he is an absolute fox in the box you need to make sure he is in the box when you are sending those cross-ins you're gonna see uh cancelo pass to brolin brolin is gonna chip that a cheeky chip he puts that header in unfortunately it doesn't go in but still you know he has the height you know he has the, op the, the ability to do so and looking at his heading accuracy you see that it's only 69 but it's not the case he is so good at heading and you're gonna see some more clips coming up about that the next clip i have for you guys is regarding having attack movement attacking movement he's gonna do a great run after he collects a pass in this clip and then he's going to move to take on the left wing spot since Ribéry will drop down and he's going to do a fantastic cross. Let's look at that right now. So Ribéry has the ball right there, passes it to Park Jisung. Look at that. Gravenberg has the ball, does a run, a fantastic run right there. And then Ribéry passes it to Gravenberg and look at that. He takes the left wing position, is going to send this brilliant cross. Unfortunately, the goalkeeper is able to put a hand there and it doesn't meet its destination. But still, you saw how good he was at moving across that pitch. He didn't slow down the game only you know made the game uh, move a little bit faster look at that the run is triggered pass the ball to Ribéry and then he moves a little bit wider slows down the pace finds his step right there and then passes does a beautiful cross that doesn't go uh, to destination but still very good the next clip I have for you guys is regarding Rand Gravenberg's passes right his attack positioning and the attacking phase and his passes are sensational in this clip you're going to see him get the ball after uh, a pass is given to him he's going to pass it and his movement off the ball is going to allow him to free himself up so that he can collect the ball do an assist let's look at this clip look at that okay so here he is right there okay the ball is going to be intercepted he's going to get that ball look at him he gets that ball passes it right back and look at his movement look at his movement right there he moves a little bit back to create some space with this player gets the ball passes it passes it to Brolin, and then it's a goal boys that my friends is sensational and i want to show you that again he gets that ball he doesn't slack creates some space with the player that is marking him right in front of him and that's his that's his AI. His AI movement for defending or attacking is absolutely crazy, right? He is always looking to create some space between him and the player that is in front of him to either collect the pass, to either, uh, you know, be in a position to defend the, the counterattack 
it's very, very special. The next thing, the next clip I have for you guys is regarding his, uh, again, his attack positioning, his attacking AI. Um, so both his attacking AI combined with his size offer a very unique attacking oriented CM. In this clip, you're going to see a great run that I did not trigger. He's going to move into the space and he is going to provide an assist to Brolin, but of course it's going to be a crossbar. But let's look at that together. Okay, the ball is collected right there. Uh, we see Dalot, who is an incredible, incredible center back as well this is uh um, um i forget the the, the, the promo but 88 dalo look at that grammy has the ball he did that run passes the ball smoothly and then it's a cross bar but still let's re let's look again at that build up and let's pull up the arrow right here so Graving Bell is located right here. The game is happening right here, but you're gonna see that run he's gonna trigger. I didn't, I didn't look at that. Look at that. He shows his hand, gets that ball, you know, goes into the box, slows it down, does a pass, and boom. It should have been a goal. It's a crossbar, but that is that doesn't, you know, diminishes the the, the job this player did to understand the game move into the space and then provide an option provide the ability to do a pass and then a shot on target the next clip i have for you guys is regarding coming box brilliant brilliant i repeat uh defending positioning so it's both attacking ai but also defending positioning uh for this player in this clip you are going to see him uh use his size and his strength to intercept the ball and then he's going to intercept it on the ground as well as in the air so really he offers those two things aerial and ground interception and that's that's really really special boys when you're in a tight situation and you have a, a guy who is always using the midfield to cr to build Gravenberg is going to be there to help you look at this clip right here so Park Jisung has the ball of course you see him right there Th there you go Gravenberg is right there he gets that ball passes it right there we're going to lose the ball again uh with that tackle on uh, Park Jisung and he he's going to send it in the air look who's there again it's the man Gravenberg Ryan Gravenberg is right there again to send that ball right back into midfield he's strong he's confident in the air and that allows you to really rely on those uh, passes those x's even if the ball is in the air you can do a cheeky little x and he'll send the ball right back into the midfield with absolute confidence look at that boom the ball is right back in the midfield with accuracy pass to another player uh, of the team and you know those can really help you build your counter attack a lot a lot faster this is not going to end up being a goal so uh yeah we're going to move from this clip the next clip i have for you guys is a bonus clip and i just want to mention this if you did not complete ake world cup ake this is what you're missing on this is gold ake and look at how he's going to body dembele winter wildcard get the ball send it back into play that my friends is special so if you still have some time i think the tokens are still out go ahead and complete yourself a winter uh, a world cup ake he is absolutely fantastic the next clip i have for you guys is regarding uh Gravenberg, um ability to support the defense right so when you're building your attack let's say you're playing a really tight with tight depth uh, i mean low width low depth and you know you're on a drop back uh, a drop back setting right this guy is going to really help you build your attacks very very slowly like the tiki taka but very slow build let's look at this clip together the ball is in the defense the bit in the tight area that Del passes the ball marquisio sees two players there passes back again and then ake is there but who is there to to provide an option again it's the man gravenberg gravenberg is there again to provide there he is right here you're going to see it's a little bit tight, passes the ball back, and then it goes right back to Gravenberg. And then he has this option on the wing and in the center as well to create that attack. Of course, that was not a great pass, so he gets denied. But still, again, that is what he offers. The ability to drop down a little bit and support the attacking uh, the, the, the attacking buildup. Next clip I have for you guys is regarding Gravenberg's movement off of the ball. Boys, again, I want to insist on that. This guy's movement off of the ball is pretty much the secret sauce of this player he really is something special with his movement off the ball um, it's always as if he's trying to create some space between him and whoever is marking him always okay so we're gonna set this ball into play uh you're gonna see that it's ake and then it's on the left hand side of the central circle and then joan Cancelo. it's a really quick build up you see coming belt do that pass and as soon as he does that he's trying to run for it gets the ball again sends it on the side to marquiso but look at that I got to go a little bit back. As soon as he passed that ball, you're going to see him back up a little bit as if he wants to create that distance. He gets that ball, passes it, 
And look at what he does. He backs up a little bit to create that distance between him and that player. And as soon as he sees that there's room to move up, he moves the mark up a little bit. And then again, he, he, he drops back a little bit more because he realizes he doesn't need to crowd that attack. If you're noticing what I'm saying, or if you're not noticing it, you need to take a few seconds and really look at the clip. But look at that. He gets the ball again, passes it, drops back a little bit because he sees that the attack is you know, already crowded enough. And then he realizes there's room to push this marker up. He does it, pushes him up, and then drops back again because the attack is already crowded. Sensational movement from a player like this. Really, really something special. The next clip I have for you guys is regarding Glavine Bell's contribution and set pieces. Uh, he needs to be in the box. So... Uh, if you're going to play with him as a midfielder, that's okay. But make sure he you, you have get into the box for crosses because that is where he is also very dangerous. He's a fox in the box. And you're going to see again a header. He's going to miss the header. But still, he's going to help rebuild that attack and is going to provide an assist for a goal. Look at that. Okay. The ball is there. Uh, Brolin sends, is going to send that ball in. Who is there? Gravenberg is there to send a header in. He doesn't make it. But look at that. We intercept the ball again. Gravenberg has the ball. Assist. Un golazo, papa. Un golazo, papa. Gravenberg got that ball, didn't hesitate, passed the ball, distributed it very, very quickly without hesitation. Brodin is there. Brodin does what Brodin does. Uh, sensational. Brodin actually sounds a lot like Broly, one of the characters in Dragon Ball Z. A really strong, strong player as well there. But anyways, the next clip I have for you guys is regarding Gravenberg's ability and size when it comes to, uh, you know, collecting aerial balls in the midfield and distributing that. You're going to see this right here. Okay. Okay, so we're in a tight situation right there. We send the ball in the air. He's being pressured right there by somebody else, but it's effortless for him. You know, the, the, the player is not able to push him in the back. It's really effortless. Uh, Joao Cancel sends the ball in the air. He collects it, does a pass. And this is what he offers. If you're in a tight situation and you don't only want to pass the ball on the ground because you don't have a clear path, you can send it up in the air. And Gravenberg is going to take that ball. Easy peasy, Colin McSweezy. The next clip I have for you guys is regarding his reach and ability to intercept the ball very high up the pitch. And again, that is something he offers. The ability to pressure very high and actually collect the ball. Look at this, this clip right here. Um, he's going to pass the ball on the side to Laporte. Laporte is going to attempt to pass it to Dembélé. And who is there? Gravenberg is right there to get that ball and say, no, you are not going to build that attack. We're going to stop that very easily. Look at him. He's right there. He reads that play and then rushes it there, gets that ball, passes it to Brolin. Brolin is going to lose that ball there, but still, it doesn't diminish the amount of effort that this guy is putting to pressure the ball very high, right? The next clip I have for you guys is regarding the player ratings, and they make a whole lot of sense, right? A whole lot of sense. Uh, he is on 7.8 as a left CM, and boys, he is everywhere across the pitch you know he is creating he is defending and he is really providing a lot of stability to me he's like a, a mix between uh you know a mix between a fabinho like a dyson somebody who who fixes the mistakes in the midfield and uh a belling a, a jude bellingham right a mix between a, a fabinho and a jude bellingham and that's really what he does the next clip and the last clip i have for you guys on this review is again having size that really helps him defend you know as soon as it's time to defend he has an automated ai that really allows him to drop back he's medium medium he really really drops back to support the defense and because of his size he just pauses a nuisance for the attack look at that he's not really going to, to tackle or do anything but just the, the the sheer size is going to create a blockage right there and his body allows to look at him he's right there I didn't tackle, I didn't press circle. It's just that he was running down and the pass was in his way and he got the ball and collected it very, very easily. If you have the coins, if you need somebody who is going to be very strong, very tall in that midfield, you absolutely need to go ahead and pick up this player. Before we wrap up this episode, let's compare him to a player like Rabio. Okay, a player like Rabio because those two are very similar. The only difference with Kravenberg is that he offers a, a little bit more solidity when it comes to the attacking. Right. If we look at the base card, uh, I believe his base card only has 80, no, 85 uh, shooting. And uh, of course, there's a chem style on him right now. But he offers that attacking, a little bit more attacking and a little bit more uh, solidity when it comes to attacking than Rabio, who is very, very much like him, but a little bit more defensive. Boys, this was your FIFA commenter. If you've enjoyed this in-depth review, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, let me know if you want more content like this, and I'll make sure to produce it for you and push it out. Drop a like, catch you very soon for another one. Peace out!